Hey folks, Cornell with YouTube Fishing Vids. I got a nice first fish out here in my local lake. I've got a little color to the water. I'm excited about it. So I put a little red jig head on my Ned rig. So I got a little color, a green pumpkin Ned rig, and away we go. This is a nice fish. Right off a point, right off a drop, using the sonar to find a few little areas that can hold some fish. And it's only been about a half an hour since I motored out here. I'm on the back side of the lake with a nice breeze and a nice bass. Here it comes. Come here, baby. That's a nice fish to start the day. Real nice fish. Come here. Come here. Right perfectly hooked. Oh, man. This is going to be a... Awesome. There you go. Good deal. Ned Rig. Finesse. Striking again on the local lake. I was out here just checking out the scene yesterday on a Sunday. It's a Monday morning. I got a little Monday routine going on and it was packed out here yesterday. And there's literally one boat on this uh, lake today with me and one guy on the shoreline that I've seen so far. So I've got the lake almost to myself. So stay tuned. There's the magic bait. Z-Man Ned Rig, green pumpkin and a little Z-Man one fifth ounce red jig head to go with. It's a little crooked right now because I just got bit. So let's go ahead and straighten it out. Let's get that beauty back out there, add a little crawfish scent, and drop it right off that drop. Whoa, he was up shallow. That's a nice fish, number two, Ned Rig, I tell you. You know, I'm throwing this on the exact same setup as my drop shot. The only difference right here is that I've got the uh, the leader deal going on. On my drop shot setup, I've got a second uh, lose drop shot special rod. And I've got about a cast and a half of that five pound test Sunline Sniper. Here I've got the uh, SX1 10 pound braid with a six pound test leader of Invisex. And this is a nice chunky bass with some beautiful birthmarks. Another nice chunky fish. Check out the check out the cool little mark on him. Reminds me of that uh, Potomac River bass I caught a little while back with my buddy Paul. But yeah, the Ned Rig guys, uh, just an absolute skunk killer. So I just I know what I'm in for out here in my local lake. There's just absolutely not much room for power fishing, really, especially this time of year. That looks like a uh, that looks like a nice chunky male. So finesse fishing all day long out here on Little Seneca Lake in Boyd's, Maryland. <laughs> wow, another nice fish. Three for three on keepers with a Ned Rig. It catches dinks, but it, it'll catch some nice fish too, no question about it. That is awesome. Gotta be honest with you, I started out with a little green pumpkin head and with this little, little tinge to the water, I thought that little, that little bright red head would make a little bit of a difference. And right when I made the change up, they started biting. So it didn't take more than a couple, couple casts after the red head to make it happen. So there's number three. Oh, they are up shallow. I'm in shallow wood. I got that first one off a point on a drop, but these last three have been right up here in this super shallow wood. You know, I was working it out at that mountain lake in my last video, and uh, oh, this is a nice fish on a Ned Rig, guys, up shallow. And I was working the uh, shallow drop shot. I'm taking a risk throwing this open hook up here, but I'm throwing short casts and I'm managing pretty well. But look at this bee. Oh, this is a beast. Awesome. This has been a this has been a great day so far. So there's the Ned rig striking again. There we go. Let's take a get a good look at that one. As that other uh, as that other GoPro dies on its battery, just an awesome fish.
Oh, baby. Oh, another nice one. I don't know. This feels really big. Oh, it's not that big, but it's it's still another keeper. There's a limit, folks. Another nice fish. They're all decent out of this wood. This is awesome. It's windy out here. I'm just trying to stay as close to the bank as I can. This is a nice fish. Awesome. Come here. Come here. All right, big chunky fish. You would have just came out. This Ned rig is absolutely murderous. I've been out here literally about an hour. There's a five fish limit an hour on a Ned rig of all nice, big, chunky Maryland largemouth bass going back. Another one. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. This is so awesome. Wow, another good one. That's only been about three casts since the last one. Wow, look at this beautiful fish. That is so great. What a feeling on a little, little itty bitty whippy stick. It's so great. Another nice fish. Oh, he's right behind the gill. Let's get him quick. <laughs> awesome, man, this thing is killing them today. I've, play, I've fished the Ned Rig plenty. I've got plenty of videos with the Ned Rig folks. So uh, I may put another link down below in the description to let you guys see a couple of the uh, couple of videos I've done with the Ned Rig. But today is probably one of those better days fishing the magical Ned Rig. That's awesome. All right, folks. So I'm getting up in this really, really shallow little cove back here. And this Ned Rig, it's not the weedless jig head version. It's just the open hook design. I, I ran out of those. I had a couple of them. They still get hung up, but not as bad as this open hook design. So with this little shallow bay, I've got weeds. I'm going to go ahead and throw that shallow drop shot in here again, just like I did in my last video. See if I can pick up a couple more in this real shallow stuff and not get this Ned Rig all hung up. Hang tight. All right, I'm about to go real shallow here, folks. And there is a lot of, you know, new grass growing up. It's, it's real shallow. So this drop shot, just like I had in the last video, a little tinge in the water. I'm going to stick with that morning dawn uh, hot tip with that little chartreuse tail. Just an eighth ounce tungsten. So an eighth ounce tungsten is perfect for shallow water. Uh, not a very long leader, but not really short either. It's going to give me a chance to let that sinker hit the bottom. And let me just flutter that little robo worm right in front of the nose of these shallow bass. So let's see if one of those... Uh, Let's see if one of those super shallow giants is way back here in the cove. Oh, whoa. oh, the only dink of the day so far. That's not uh, it's not totally a dink, but that's the second cast with the drop shot up shallow. So that's was that was the perfect idea. You know, that Ned rig would have never made it through that little bit of wood, would have never made it through that grass. So that was the perfect, perfect option for that little, little bit of conditions I was changing up into. And there you go, number seven bass to dink, but it's a bass. Well, we'll be doing that a lot with the Ned Rig. I got my bait back out of some wood, and at the same time, I'm gonna gain myself a crankbait. Check this out, I got a little chartreuse something or other still on its string. Gain a lure. So you snag up and you retrieve your lure and you gain a lure. That's not a bad deal. Oh, right out of the wood. A nice one on the on the pinch nasty. What a fish. Oh my god, I so happy I changed up to a little power fishing. The tinge in the water, guys, that's what it takes. I finally got some color in my local lake and look what came up in eight. Oh, this is awesome. What a fish. Wow, what a fish and what a day. This has been absolutely awesome. That is the Finch Nasty Nasty Thumper that uh, made an appearance in my last video. And look what it just caught me. Unbelievable. I saw it right in that little bit of wood, that little lay down. Gave me a little bit of love. And that is one heck of a fish. That is, uh, that's that number seven keeper, I think it is. I'd be calling pretty good if I was in a tournament, that's for sure. Let me spin this boat around and get out of the wood just in case another one wants to come up and eat. That's a beauty. So yeah, it's been an absolutely incredible day. We're out of the full moon a few days. We got wind. We've got a little warmth. That's what it takes. Two days of warm weather and I'm way back in the creek. So up shallow guys, way up shallow and that's what we get. 
Thank you, thank you, <laughs> thank you, thank you. Big beauty, back you go. Coming way back up into this creek and seeing this dingy water and having this wind, it couldn't have been a better opportunity to challenge myself out here in my local lake, which is normally a very, very finessey type of lake. So to do a little power fishing and to have a fish like that, grab the uh, vibrating jig, that Finch Nasty Nasty Thumper is an absolute treat. I'm gonna keep going at it. I've got a lot of area to cover, so let's do a little power fishing and then we'll uh, see what happens with it as the morning progresses. Oh, I think I laid into another one. For a second, I thought I hit a log. It turned, it it grabbed it the second it hit the water. I don't know what I've got yet, guys, but it felt like a pretty strong bite. Let's see what I got. Power fishing on my local lake, I love it. Decent little fish, nothing crazy, nothing like the last one, but what a treat. What an absolutely awesome, awesome treat. Nothing crazy, I'm just happy I can get them on a moving bait. <laughs> that is so cool. All right, so there you go. That's uh, number two on a vibrating jig. It's been an awesome day. You know, I've always been a big fan of snakes. I think they're probably one of the coolest things in the animal kingdom. Aren't they beautiful? Beautiful garter snake. Something, it's one of those awesome things you get to see when you're out on the water. Beautiful, beautiful snake. Back she goes. Oh, I saw him come right off, right off the log. That was awesome. Again, not a bad fish, nothing huge, but still not a dink. And again, on a moving bait. I love it. Oh man, I'm having a, this is awesome. I'm having a blast. All right, good deal. Let's get some more. Oh, I got you. I didn't think I'd actually get a shot at you, buddy. Wow, I'm having a reptile kind of day in that beautiful little painted turtle. Very, very cool. A little dirty. I'm sure you've been cleaner in your day, but yeah, it's fun coming out here, seeing all kinds of wildlife. There's our, my little, my little friend, the painting turtle, painted turtle. Let's let him go. Nice. <laughs> beating the banks, guys. Just beating the banks. It's a little less windy over on this side. I'm heading back towards that wood that I was whacking them the on the. Uh, Ned rig with this is another nice fish. Wow, it's actually bigger than I thought. Oh, uh, nothing better than a pull bait when you have it swimming at you. You never know exactly what you got. This is a nice fish. Oh, uh, he's hooked good. Come here. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Man, this has been great. So there's another, another vibrating jig fish on my way back to my wood spot over there. I should say another wood spot and see if they're still there. So stay tuned. So I see something red floating in the water over here, and I thought it was just a little red bobber, but looks like I got lure number two for the day. Looks like I got myself a nice little popper. Check that out. Awesome, looks like a little red, red bull popper. Hasn't been in there too long. Get a little line out of the water. Got myself a little popper, how cool is that? Good deal. God, what is this? Oh my God, I got a tiger muskie. Oh, I got a tiger muskie, guys. I haven't seen a tiger muskie in like four years and it's a giant tiger muskie. Oh my God, I lost it. Oh my Lord, have mercy. That was a giant, giant tiger muskie. I am out of my mind. That was the ultimate. I hope you guys saw that in the water. That thing was huge. I don't, I don't know what to say. I cannot believe I lost that fish, but just to have it on was unbelievable. I couldn't tell you how many times I've talked to people out here wondering and 
wondering and wondering whether or not there's any tiger musky left in here. They were stocked long, long time ago. They're not breeding. I thought they were dying off and I just absolutely annihilated a giant tiger muskie and lost them. Oh my gosh. It may be years and years and years again before I have another chance like that, but that was exciting. I know y'all saw my rod bending. Hopefully that chesty picked up a little bit of that fish and that is, a, that is an exciting, I can't even breathe right now. I'm so excited. Glad you guys are here for that. I wish I could have shown you the fish, but we'll, we'll just keep on fishing and keep on dreaming. That was awesome. Folks, it has been a long time since I've been shaking like that fishing. And I'm almost truly speechless, almost have a lump in my throat having lost that fish. I'm not crazy disappointed. I'm just, I'm in awe, I'm in shock. I mean, it was a giant. It was an absolutely, it was the biggest tiger muskie I've ever seen, uh, ever. I mean, I've, I've seen him in the water, I've seen him from the bank, I've seen him from a boat. I've caught one, maybe about 32 inches. I caught another little one way, way, way back, about 20 inches. And that thing, that thing was an absolute giant. Again, I hope you guys can see it from the chesty in the water to understand what I was dealing with, but on a, vibrating jig of all things. I saw him come up and sweep at it, just kind of sucked it in, didn't grab it and run, so I barely got anything in it. I, I had them, but those things got some really, really hard, tough mouths, so they're real, real tough to hook. So folks, I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm gonna call it. <laughs> I don't think I can fish anymore. I'm just so tore up, excited, the emotions are going nuts with me right now. So folks, as always, I appreciate you joining me. As always, I appreciate you subscribing, and until we meet again, over and out.